Welcome viewers to this video where we are going to see how the windshield on the NT1100 performs in the wet. Now I think you can see that this was a very wet ride out. This was one morning going to work. It's been very wet recently and I thought I'd do a, a video showing what it's like to be riding the NT1100 with the screen up in wet conditions now as you can see i've got all me me wet proof gear on i'm using the uh, oxford rain seals and uh, the tops and bottoms so i'm completely dry even though outside is wet and horrible spray off the roads not good conditions but i i speed up to about 60 miles an hour just to see if the water would come off the front screen and I couldn't get it to move from the middle of the screen it just held there as you can see I've got the wagons going past the spray coming onto the front of the windshield there's rain coming uh, forward onto the front of the windshield and it seems to congregate in the middle of the windshield so my question is why does the water not go off the windscreen a bit easier you would think traveling at 60 to 70 miles an hour down a motorway with the wind blasting on the front of that windshield that the water would run off but it certainly doesn't as you can see now normally i would be filtering through the traffic on the right hand side of the motorway here but on this occasion here with it being wet and also with restricted visibility because of the the way the windshield is i prefer to just stay in the inside lane and not do any filtering in these sort of conditions. I have also noticed that in these sort of conditions with the windscreen uh, wet and with reduced visibility as it is, your judgment when you're traveling through uh, traffic, such as filtering, uh, is uh, affected a little and it's harder to judge the gap that you're going through I don't know what it is it's some sort of optical illusion or something but it feels like the bike is a lot wider than what it actually is so if you have to ride in these conditions wet windy and with a lot of spray on the roads and you've got a lot of traffic around i would advise you not to do any filtering in the outside lane or any lane really unless the traffic is virtually stopped Keep yourself to uh, a safer part of the road, such as a road like this, where you've got no cars in front of you and you can keep your distance between the car in front and yourself. It gives you a little bit more chance of uh, braking and slowing down should you need to. If you're filtering through traffic and a car decides to pull into your um, way as you're riding forward, you'll have to brake pretty quick and with the wet conditions you just ain't going to stop or there's a, a massively reduced chance of you stopping so in wet weather take it easy don't be in a rush to get where you're going you will get there in the end and it's better to get somewhere late than not at all so i'm going to wrap this video up very shortly but if anybody knows the reason why the water will not run off the uh, windshield on this bike or any bike or if you have a, a solution that um, can be used so the water runs off such as a waxy type solution or have you tried anything or used anything it'd be very interesting to know and i'd love to try something out i'm going to do a bit of research online to see if there's anything that is possible to use i know you can get um, these polymer uh, coatings that you use on glass windows and i'm just wondering if there's something i can use on um, this polycarbonate windshield i will let you know how i get on in due course so stay tuned thank you to all my subscribers for viewing the videos and subscribing to the channel and if you're liking the videos please click the like button it will let me know and if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.